I've got one that can see. <laughs> What's up, Cancer? Mika here, the Traveling Tarot, back again with some messages from Spirit for the rest of the year. Look, it's been a wild ride. We've done a lot of releasing, a lot of healing, a lot of accepting. And now I want to check in for September, October, November, December to see exactly what us Cancers can expect for the rest of the year. We're going to start with some Moonology messages so that we can get an overarching energy for each month and then we'll go ahead and go deeper into each month, okay? They are for cancer placements or anybody watching for a cancer or really anybody that found this video, there's a message in it for you if you were inspired to click on it, okay? So watch till the end. They are general messages, so take them as they resonate, but if they do resonate, expect these things to show up. Take the information that does resonate use the information to move towards your purpose here cancer okay so let's see what we can expect for september it's already starting explosively okay slow it down okay we have slow it down show up and honestly what what it really feels like is that and this is just out of the gate especially with take a breath interesting because i know look i'm a cancer and i know that i've been putting in the work I feel like something is going to show up in September that's going to give us the ability to, to fucking sit back for a second just to take a quick beat and like just relax for a second is actually what that feels like, especially with take a breath and slow it down showing up. What's going to show up for us cancers in October there, my beautiful angels, spirits, guides for my lovely brothers and sisters in cancer. What can we expect for October? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we have cut your losses showing up, Cancer. Okay, so I feel like you're, I, honestly, okay, look, that can be taken in one or two ways. You're going to be cutting your losses, which means you're going to be releasing those things that you have been feeling bound to and I'm so thankful for that and I am so ready for that and I feel like it you with you being able to slow it down and we still had take a breath showing up at the bottom of the deck with cut your losses that's why I say relax you're going to be able to gain perspective here in September for whatever shows up that's going to give you a chance to take a beat and it's going to help you cut your losses and move away from this energy here that maybe you've been still feeling bound to. But now with Take a Breath showing up in October, it's going to be tied in with you meditating or finding some practice that helps you stay connected to your spirit, okay? Because us Cancers can very much get caught up in what we've lost as well, okay? But you gaining perspective in September is going to bring you the ability to finally release yourself from these things that you have felt you lost or that you feel bound to or that you felt separated from, okay? So I, in either event, take a breath and connect to your spirits, angels, guys. Let's see what's showing up for November for us beautiful Cancers. Because I know, Cancer, we especially have been through it because... We've been really doing the work, if you're anything like me, and you feel healed enough to, to, to get the show on the road, but there still feels like, ooh, wow, there's going to be some major, major shifts coming, Cancer. There's going to be some stuff showing up where you're going to need to face those fears. And there was, what was the one I just did for uh, who got faced their fears in, I want to say Libra. Maybe you guys might have Libra placements or maybe it's going to be involving a Libra because they are also going to be facing some type of fear in November. And maybe it has to, do, maybe you guys are going to be facing it together, but it is to bring you to the truth, a truth, your truth. Okay, Cancer? The only way you're going to do this and 
The only way that it's going to work cancer is if you face those fears, and that's 100% the truth, okay? But whatever shows up in September that gives you the ability to slow it down a little bit is going to give you the perspective to help you see that it's time to cut your losses, okay? And you do do that, and it's going to help you face your fears, to be perfectly honest. And let's see what December brings in as you're facing those fears. Cancer gonna experience from facing those fears. Angel spirits guides. Higher power. You're gonna level up in December. You're gonna step into not just your power but a position of power, Cancer. And it is from you facing the fears. And maybe some of you guys, yeah, because we have that showing up with knowledge. And I was saying that maybe some of you guys have um, been afraid to step into your power. And it's probably from what you feel you lost here. And this is the reason why releasing, cutting those losses and facing those fears helps you step into your power, okay? And you use the knowledge that you've learned from the things you feel you lost and damn sure from facing your fear, the knowledge that you gained from that to step into your power and to your and to your king and queen of cups energy. Not only will you be balanced emotionally, but you'll be able to rule in a way that is, lead in a way that is really truly nurturing and from a place of love and kindness, okay? Because that is what we are based in, Cancer, okay? So let's go ahead and see if we can get a little more information as to what slow it down means for September and why that is showing up for us, Cancer. What does Cancer need to slow down in September or what's gonna show up to help Cancer slow down? Is that the card? Look at that. I don't know, but it says manifestation and it says retreat. You're going to be able to, you know, it's funny. Maybe you guys are going to be going to some type of spiritual retreat. Actually, I know that I have one planned for September. So maybe something, something at that retreat is going to end up in some form of a manifestation. It says time spent alone, reflection on the past and current situations. Something is going to give you the ability to slow it down and reflect so that you can cut these losses, Cancer, okay? And move, move into that manifestation, okay? This, something you've been trying to manifest is going to show up so that you can because that's what it really feels like, okay? It's going, something's going to show up that is going to help you slow it down in a way that you can finally cut your losses and not be seeped or standing in that disappointment so that you can face the fears and truly step into your power by the end of this year. Remember what I said about course correction, okay? This year is all about that. We've done, the, we've done a little cleaning the first half of this year and the second half of this year is about us moving directly into our power. That way, in 2025 we're set up we're moving into this 2025 in our power or in our truth in our newest truth remember we saw truth show up at the bottom of the deck in the moonology messages okay we are manifesting it says law of attraction thoughts become things this is why you're going to be able to take a step back cancer because i know you've been doing the work i know i've been doing the work so I know that I need something to help me slow down because I just, I only know go. And so the truth is, is that I haven't necessarily had a, had a, there's some things I haven't had a chance to fully process because I've only been in go mode. And honestly, I don't know how, to, I don't know what giving up looks like. So I've never even considered it. So if something does, when something does show up in September to give us the chance to slow it down and and think 
that is when we're going to be able to start thinking the thoughts that are bringing us what we want towards our higher power. And we're going to be able to finally let go of the disappointments of the past. Cancer, that's the only thing that may have been keeping us stuck, but we love so hard and we give so much that it takes us a minute to recover from disappointment, especially if it's love, <laughs> okay? But like I said, you got confirmation there. You are manifesting something that's going to give you the ability to slow it down in September, Cancer, okay? So that's a really very beautiful thing. It's going to give you the ability to see clear enough to cut your losses so that you can face those fears and step into your power. Yeah. Patience showing up, okay? And look what patience actually says. This is in October. Clarify and cut your losses. Have patience. Manifestations are on the way. We saw manifestations at the bottom of the deck with retreat. Just be patient. What you have asked for is on the heels of you releasing your focus on what you've lost. Okay, and you're... We have manifestation. You saw me shuffle. <laughs> we have manifestation showing up at the bottom of the deck. And you saw me shuffle. Manifestations are on the way. They want you to really hear them say this, Cancer, Mika, anybody who finds this video... Your manifestations are on the way. Be patient, okay? Your thoughts become things. Take a step back so that you can cut those thoughts that might be keeping you from seeing that your manifestations are not on the way. They're here. They're all around you. And they're waiting for you to align with them and step into your power once and for all, Cancer, because you're very powerful. We all are. But Cancer... Come on. <laughs> okay, come on. November. Let's see what we got for November. But I love you guys so much for double downing on that. I just love when you guys do that because they want us, we, me, you to know that what we've asked for is coming into being. We just need to be patient and cut our losses. Stop focusing on what we've lost. Because that would be the only energy that would keep you from seeing that the manifestations are here. Okay? Look at that. Realignment and lovers to confirm in November. You realign with your passion. You start to align with, especially as you face your fears in November, you start to align with the person that you intend to show people, if that makes sense, okay? Now this is about a passion, this says a passionate connection, shared vision and values, okay? But really it's about you realigning with your vision. But November could also be about a, a possible connection depending on what you're focused on and what fears you're gonna need to face in order to achieve that thing, okay? Realignment. Shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity, okay? Cutting your losses and facing your fears is going to require realigning with your true purpose, lovers. The lover's energy with your higher purpose. What you're, true, what you're truly focused on and what you're truly trying to create. But look, we have resolving issues show up as well. So, as you shift those perspectives and start facing your fears you're receiving and stepping into your power you're becoming that higher power cancer because you're you are the power <laughs> you are the power those issues are being resolved in december as you face those fears in november and as you cut your losses in october and as you retreat in september take some time to reflect on your the things that maybe you might that might be keeping you stuck because in October you're going to be asked to let those things go and just say all right look it didn't work out fine <laughs> you know and there's there are some things that you can do that easy easily on and there are some things that are not that easy to do it on 
okay? But just know that if you spend some time alone and reflect on it, you'll be able to cut your losses come October, okay? And let's see what they want us to know about December and this higher power. But it looks like by November you're realign you're realigning with your purpose and you're facing you're facing your fears, okay? So in December you do end up getting to stepping into that higher level up, higher version of yourself, okay? And it is it definitely comes from and look at that creativity. You're able to have fun and express yourself in new ways by December. Okay? You're able to tap, you're, you're tapped into that creative energy. The higher power is that creative energy. We do have obsession showing up, okay? It says focusing too much on one situation and the need to take a step back. And this really feels more like this slow it down energy. But it is coming out in December. So maybe come December you're going to find some Thing that you're a little too focused on because you're now going to be realigned with your purpose. You're going to be seeing results. You're going to be seeing this. But try not to focus too much is what it really feels like, okay? Stay connected to the connected to the creative energy. Have fun and express yourself in new ways. And try not to focus too much on one thing. Be free-flowing. That's what's going to set you up to be the leader, to be the thing, the person that you see so that you can step more clearly, more boldly into your purpose come 2025, okay, Cancer? So they're just asking you to slow it down in September so that you can cut your losses in October and you can face your fears come November and you can step fully into your power by the end of this year, okay? And that's what course correction is all about. And when you get into this, Stay free flowing and try not to focus too much on any area of what you're trying to create. Just stay in the flow of creative energy by having fun and expressing yourself in new ways. Okay? So I'm going to pull one angel number card and it's just going to signify the overarching energy of the last half of the year. This is going to be the message they want you to tune into, the numbers they want us to tune into to assist us in the next few months here with slowing it down, cutting our losses, and literally cancer really stepping fully into our power because this year has been a lot of ebb and a lot of flow of powerful and imposter syndrome sometimes, you know? And it's kind of like, no, by the end of this year, cancer, you are being asked and shown that it is possible for you to fully step into your power by cutting those losses and just facing your fear. Screw the fear, okay, seriously. Do not let fear govern any area of your life anymore and let it, and damn sure don't let it keep you from moving, okay? So let's go ahead and get one angel, angel answer card and see what message they wanna give you for the next four months here from September to this, through December. purpose I'm telling you and leveling up higher power did I not say leveling up when when higher power showed up but most importantly the central energy and the central message is going to be your purpose cut your losses and face your fears so that you can move into your purpose as the higher power and express yourself in real ways I love that so much because it comes with leveling up, which help by December cancer, if you follow the guidance that you're receiving, you level up and you're having fun and you're expressing yourself in new ways and you become that higher power. Okay, so I am gonna read um, the information on purpose, so seven, and, and it makes sense with seven, being July <laughs> for Cancer, um, and my birthday is 714, so sevens have been so instrumental in my entire, in fact, it's 71477, so I'm all sevens. My phone number is like four sevens in it, so it's just like sevens represent luck, they represent wholeness, they represent your purpose. When you see sevens, try to tap in and feel around 
for the information that your spirits, angels, guides are trying to provide for you in that moment. And here's a couple of key words that are gonna help you tune in and an affirmation that you can say whenever you do see sevens or seven seven or a succession of sevens because seven 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 represents love. So sevens represent love. Tune into the expansive wheel of fortune energy when you see sevens and know that you're expanding towards your purpose, okay? And let me go ahead and put my glasses on. It says, when you see sevens, seven, seven, this is your spiritual wake up call. Check in on that mindset. Cut your losses, cancer, and face your fears, okay? Miracles and upheavals are headed your way. So approach them from a place of trust and love. And this is all going to happen. Oh, this, is, this message is the central energy. So it's going to be, this is the point of all of this for the next few months, okay? So um, let's see, miracles and upheavals are headed your way. So approach them from a place of trust and love. Your connection to the infinite might feel tenuous at times, but trust that it is there. Cast aside those fears and doubts. Remember that you invite in more of that which you put out. We saw the Law of Attraction card. Where was that? Was that at the bottom of the stack? No, there was a Thoughts or Things card. Okay, well, I don't know. But Law of Attraction, Thoughts or Things. <laughs> uh, let's see. But trust it is there. Cast aside those fears and doubts. And remember that you invite in more of that which you put out. You can always incorporate a little more love and light into your life, okay? And when you see 7-7, seven, seven, that's going to be an ask too. Tap into that inner strength to overcome whatever difficulties you might be facing. It's going to be an ask to align with your soul's purpose. Make positive changes and notice the positive changes that are unfolding on your path. And to tune to a frequency of love and growth, okay? And I love this affirmation, and it's one of the hardest things to accept sometimes when you feel like you should be somewhere else. When you see 7-7, seven, seven, it is a reminder that you are exactly where you need to be, Cancer, okay? And that's a good thing because September, you're going to have the ability to gain some perspective by being able to slow it down. Something's going to show up to help you do that, okay? It's going to give you the perspective you need to cut your losses Focus on your purpose so that you can face your fears and realign with that purpose. That's why lovers would show up too. It's about your purpose. Tapping into that higher power, stepping into that higher power, leveling up, and being able to express yourself in fun and new ways. Okay, Cancer. And I know that that it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a journey, and we're not we're not not on it anymore. It's just going to be a journey, but it doesn't have to be rough if you can tune in and accept the information that you're receiving okay your body is always giving you information your your spirit angels guides are always speaking to you tap into sevens tap into the angel numbers tap into the feelings that you're receiving that's your intuition talking to you cancer and you do know this okay i knew it was going to be unconditional love i'm i was pulling um some cards, and I love this because emerald represents abundance, but I was pulling some uh, another card for crystals that will help you tap into this energy as you move through these next few months, and it's going to be unconditional love, rose quartz. I love it so much, which is why I was inspired to put a heart, hearts in the background. I just cancer. I Because I'm a cancer, I feel the love. I feel what we're going through but in a in from a perspective of love and from a broader perspective and i just want if you find this video to do that rose quartz is going to be a wonderful way to help you tap into unconditional love okay the affirmation is is i'll and open up to love i allow love and open my heart to attention affection and my partners it says romantic partner but it doesn't have to just be a romantic partner it's people that you love people that you genuinely interact with, the people that the people that would be in the Christmas episode of your show. <laughs> the, the, the core people in your life, Cancer. Those are the ones 
that you want to open yourself up to and open yourself up to the possibility of potential love around you as well, okay? Because there's love everywhere. And it's, when you see sevens, tap into the energy of unconditional love because that'll undoubtedly lead you to your purpose, okay? We also have the, cal the, the calca pyrite, and I love pyrite because it represents strength, it represents confidence as well as citrine, but this one specifically supports physical strength training because remember crystals have physical healing properties okay so tap into the physical strength it also feels like over the next few months cancer you might want to start some type of strength routine or some type of endurance or something that is going to build up your energy as you level up and build up into this higher power Something tells me that 2025 is going to require a lot of your strength. And so with calcopyrite showing up, this is an ask to tap into things that are going to support your physical strength, okay? It's going to help you increase time in the sunlight for a healthy body. Step outside and, and absorb all of the natural energy of life around you, Cancers. We do that better than anybody. Sometimes you have to cut it off so that it's not so overwhelming. I know I do. And it'll help you amplify physical movement to increase good health. When you tap into physical movement as well as unconditional love or affirmations or listening to something uplifting and positive, it really amps up the energy in such a way that you can see evidence of it right away, Cancer. And so the overarching energies for the next few months is going to be tapping into unconditional love and finding something that is going to help you build your physical strength. Because like I said, what you're being set up for is going to require you to have energy, physical energy. It's going to require your strength. It's going to be very busy and there's going to, you're, going to be able, you're going to need to be able to think on your feet. So you're going to want to take care of yourself, eat well, and really, really connect to the universe so that you can receive the direct messages that are going to lead you to this leveling up, Cants. <laughs> All right, Cantsy? <laughs> we also have, like I said, Emerald showing up. It says, I, am unlim oh, excuse me. I earn unlimited income doing what I love. I am successful in all of my pursuits, and I love... Oh, no, I don't have Emerald on this. I thought I did. But Turquoise also represents that. They're often together. But Emerald, tap into... The fact that you are unlimited and you can get, you can have it the way that you want it, Cancer. And I know it doesn't feel that way for a lot of us because we haven't really had it the way we want it. But maybe we haven't really trusted that it can be the way that we want it. And once we do cut our losses, we're going to be able to see, because we'll be along our path and those fears are going to come up because opportunities as we cut our losses will show up. So the fear is going to show up, but you're going to want to push through. You're going to want to push through and tap into the higher power and tap into the inner strength and the unlimited infinite self. And find new ways and fun ways to express yourself. Okay, Cancer? So now we're just going to pull a couple of tarot cards and see if we can't get um, a little more clarity for the next few months. in what we can clarify for this slow it down for my beautiful cancer but as soon as i pick up the deck we have the fool i'm telling you this is setting you up for this journey this new journey towards your soul's purpose you want to cut your losses and step out on faith and just really be more playful be more playful and trust that you're being guided and trust that you're being supported with that full energy showing up Tell me about September for Cancer and this slow it down in this retreat energy. What's showing up for Cancer in September? What do you want Cancer to know about September? Okay. Yes. And we have the Two of Pentacles showing up. And this A is feeling like because you have been spending a lot of time doing the work, Cancer. This feels like it's going to give you the ability to set some boundaries so you can cut those losses, okay? Yeah, it's been a little rough. It's been a little rough with that, with that shaky water and the ships on the water, but 
It's about prioritizing, setting boundaries. That's why they're asking you to slow it down. Like I said, you've been doing the work. So it isn't that you need to be doing more. It's, it's, it's actually an ask for you to slow it down a bit so that you can take what's working and leave what's not working and receive the manifestation of it, okay? So it's about, being, it's about regaining balance. <laughs> so this is the reason why whatever shows up that helps you slow down it does it in a way that helps you regain control or regain balance or regain focus or set or prioritize yourself or just connect in a way where you realize that the juggling act is no longer working. So you decide to cut your losses because you realize and understand that it hasn't been working doing it this way. Because look what we have as soon as you, as soon as you regain balance. You start moving towards that absolute fulfillment, that happy, happy, that love, that emotional fulfillment, that creative energy. And this is what happens when you tap into that higher power and face your fears, okay? Because there's going to be a lot of that stuff coming up over this next four month period, Cancer. Look at that. I love that so much. When I'm clarifying October, we have the Four of Cups. What's going to help you through this is gratitude, okay? It's going to help. This is showing up to let you know that not only are manifestations on the way, so be patient even though you feel like it has been, you've been patient, but manifestations are on the way and they're coming from the hand of God, literally, okay? But this is also my show gratitude for where you are and you will be able to Cut those losses with gratitude and appreciation. Take what you've learned, which especially showing up with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, that's you. Take what you've learned. Try to find the um, a place of appreciation for what you've learned for, from what you've lost or what you felt you lost or you've lacked. And cut your losses, release that energy in October, okay? It is coming through because you are gonna see the, and it looks like with that, with this being the Four of Cups and Spirit literally handing you this cup, it's going to, and it's showing up with manifestations around the way, this feels like because you have been patient, Cancer, and you have been doing the work, and you were able to regain balance with that Two of Pentacles, you are now going to receive those manifestations that are on the way, okay? Because this is you showing up to receive that cup. And now you have the cup. And boy, by the time you have gotten here, look how beautiful that cup has become, okay? So just show gratitude right now. Know that manifestations are on the way and lovingly release things that no longer serve you, okay? So let's see what's showing up for November. What type of things are showing up with face your fears and realigning with your with your purpose, with the lovers showing up. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I love the star. It's me. It's my favorite card of the deck, actually, because it represents guidance. It represents hope. It represents fulfillment. It represents spirituality. And it represents balancing spirituality and physical, okay? But what I really love about it is because it represents alignment. You're represent you're you're realigning with your purpose and yeah you're going to have to face some fears. You don't have to do anything, but if you want to realign with your purpose and move towards it fast with this uh with this knight of swords, it's going to be an ask to realign with your purpose. And in cancer, it's fine because you're being guided there anyway. <laughs> you're being guided there anyway. Okay? Remember the overarching energy and the overarching message for the rest of the year is realign with that purpose and step into your power, level up. Level up and step into that power, Cancer, okay? But by November, you're ready to face your fears so that you can step into that higher power and level up. And once you do that, it starts to move very, very quickly. Expect to receive lots of new creative ideas come December once you, once you face those fears. Once you take the fear out of things, things open up for you. So the so new opportunities, new ideas, new ways of doing things open up once on the other side of fear, okay? And so by November, you're gonna be able to do that, especially because you've been 
taking the guidance with the star. You're, you've been showing gratitude and you've been patient, patiently waiting for this manifestation or these manifestations that are now gonna be showing up for you, okay? Continue to cut your losses and just release whatever whatever shows up and you know what those are because it first it's the first thing that came to your mind when I mentioned the word loss. Okay? That's the thing you want to start with and you're gonna be able to take some time to step back and see exactly what you want to release that's gonna move you towards your purpose. That's gonna bring up those fears because that's another way you know you're moving towards your purpose is when it's scary as fuck. But you do it anyway. Okay, because you do realign back with that purpose, because you do follow the guidance. Your spirit angels guides, all of these guys are here, especially spirit, is here to guide you through this fear to your higher purpose. And again, once you do that, you start receiving creative new ways of doing things. You're now tapped into the higher power. And let's see what December brings to confirm that. Let's just see, I don't want my camera to run out here. Let's just see what December has for us. Looking cancer. Yes. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are so good, man. You're fully in your power here. You're back in your power. This is exactly. You're now ready to lead, cancer. You're now ready to lead when you step into December, especially after you face your fear. And remember... With unconditional love, you're the queen of cups, king or queen of cups. You're now using your knowledge to lead. And oh my God, when I pick this up, it says, I got to show it because it's beautiful. It's meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. And then we have love. Okay, so when I picked up knowledge, you're now using your knowledge confidently to lead. Because the King of Wands represents leading, okay? And you have the strength to do it. You feel strong enough to do it. That's so beautiful. And I'm so thankful that I'm a Cancer. And I'm so thankful that I can speak and understand what these guys are saying to me. Because it really does help you keep perspective. And it makes cutting your losses a little bit easier. When you can expect good things. So work on just cutting your losses here cancer over the next couple months something's going to come in in september that's going to help you do that okay then in october you're 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 cutting your losses and by november you're facing your fears but you're back in your power and you're stepping into 2025 a leader okay so i hope something did resonate if it did please like share subscribe i'm truly grateful that i get to do this definitely take advantage of my 111 readings and everything can be found at thetravelintoro.com. I'm also working on my workshop slash um, course called I Came to Win. So yeah, just sign up at thetravelintoro.com to get notified when that gets dropped. And I'm going to send you guys off with a self-care card. This is going to be one card. And the best way that you can take care of yourself as you do slow it down and cut your losses and face your fears and step fully into your power, Cancer, by the end of this year. By the end of this year, you're going to be there. And I love you so much that this is the self-care card. Have faith. It's really going to be the only way. This, is, this, honestly, is the only way that you're going to fully be able to move into your purpose and self-exploration, which is all about you learning about your power, Cancer. It says, remove the doubts and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. Okay, you are stepping in and stepping up and leveling up, Cancer. You deserve it, okay? And it says, peel off the false persona and get to know yourself and find your truth, okay? So I'm so thankful that I get to do this. Step into your power, Cancer. You got this. I love you. I am Mika, the Traveling Tarot. Take care of each other, okay? Peace.